Hello friends! In this video you'll see how high actors of the movies Predator 1987 and Predator 2 1990 changed. You'll know the original names and age. I will show you how they looked then and what's with them now in 2022. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Blaine serves in the Dutch detachment with the rank of sergeant and participates in various operations including rescue. He has a moustache and often wears an army-style hat. Also constantly chews on fonts to be a sexy Tyrannosaurus Rex, played by Jess Ventura. Poncher is one of the five members of the squad under the orders of Major Dutch. Explosives were his main specialty and he could also speak some Spanish, a skill that proved useful to the team during the mission in Guatemala. The role was performed by Richard Chavez. Hawkins served in the Dutch rescue squad as a radio operator. Apart from this, he is very agile and can also handle firearms well. He likes to joke, but not everyone is able to understand his humor. He wears large green glasses. They are always played by Shane Black. Dylan is a good friend of Dutch, who works for the CIA and is authorized to make important decisions regarding individual operations. Tends to lie his comrades and use them to achieve his goals, but can also sacrifice himself for them. He was played by Carl Weathers. Mac, Bill Duke, serves in the save unit with Dutch and holds the rank of sergeant. He doesn't like to walk around with stubble, so he can shave even in a helicopter on the way to the landing site. He weathers friendship and is ready to go to the end to avenge a friend. Billy is serving in a detachment led by Dutch. He has an amazing flair, observation and is distinguished by laconicism. Billy was the first to guess that it was not a human who started the hunt for their team and that death awaits them all. Played by Sonny Lanham. General Phillips, R.J. Armstrong, immediate supervisor of Dutch, knows how his people are used to working, but regardless of this, requires that they follow his instructions. In the service, he wears a uniform and a cap. He prefers to wear a watch on his left hand. The Predator is a creature from another planet, is taller than a normal human, has sharp claws, and can blend into his surroundings like a chameleon. It has the ability to find any living object by heat, has bright green blood. He was played by Kevin Peter Hall. Medic Franco Colombo served in the US Army and reported to General Phillips. In connection with his specialization, he is trained in first aid, often sent along with the rescue helicopter in order to help the wounded hold out until they arrive at the hospital. Dutch is the commander of special squad that goes on various General Phillips missions. He has good stamina and can give a worthy rebuff to the enemy. Dutch is smart, quick-witted and good at fight tactics. Loves to smoke cigars. Played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Russian officer Sven Ole Tharsen is one of those who lead the rebels in Guatemala. It costs him nothing to capture people, mock them, beat them thoroughly, and then completely kill them. He has a somewhat stocky build and prefers to wear a red bandana around his neck. Peter Keyes, Gary Busey, is in charge of the secret organization OLF under the leadership of the CIA. His main task is to find out everything about the Predator and capture it for study. He behaves somewhat arrogantly and doesn't like it when they climb into his affairs. Leona Cantrell is on the same team as Mike Harrigan. As a police officer, she looks like a rather fragile girl with pretty features, but in fact she is a woman with a strong character who is not afraid to shoot criminals. She was portrayed by Maria Conchita Alonso. Captain Phil Hanneman holds the position of deputy head of the police department. He doesn't like it when one of his subordinates fails him and also doesn't approve of Harrigan's work methods, which is why they have constant disagreements. Played by Robert David. 
Captain B. Pilgrim, Ken McCord, heads one of the Los Angeles police stations and reports to Heinemann. He's a good boss who can defend his subordinates, but doesn't always approve of their persistent behavior in investigations, especially those involving the CIA. King Willie, Calvin Locker, specialized in voodoo magic and was very strong at it, for which he was highly respected among the Jamaicans. He put power above any money and used wood rights as intimidation. He preferred to wear golden trousers and a leather t-shirt. Lieutenant Mike Harrigan, Danny Glover, is a member of the LAPD and his job is at the center of his life. He is used to finishing what he started to the end, is distinguished by perseverance and unwillingness to bend under anyone, has a somewhat fiery personality. Danny Archuleta is a good childhood friend of Mike Harrigan and is also a detective with the LAPD. He is not without honor, he has moral principles, but at the same time Danny could close his eyes to the law for the sake of affairs. The role was played by Ruben Blades. Jerry Lambert, Bill Paxton, transferred to the detective position at the Los Angeles Police Department, where he worked under the command of Harrigan. He likes to show off in front of girls, sometimes behaves somewhat frivolously, but he does his job well, loves golf. Garber works for the CIA under Peter Keys in the old secret section. He clearly obeyed the orders of his immediate superior and promptly responded to them. Garber keeps calm, balanced, but by nature he is a non-initiative person. He was played by Adam Baldwin. Tony Pope worked for the local news channel Hardcore as a special reporter. He tries to be the first to arrive at the scene in order to snatch interesting material. He dresses slightly casually for a reporter and also prefers to wear a hat, played by Martin Downey Jr. Colombian Girl is the companion of drug dealer Raymond Vega. She is a rather temperamental woman and behaves liberated in bed, has a good figure and lush curly hair. She was very frightened by a meeting with a predator, but he left her alive, played by Terry Wiggle. El Scorpio works for the Colombian drug trade. He is good with a variety of firearms, and the gunfights themselves amuse him, and he rejoices when their gang occupy the lead. He wears a large golden scorpion around his neck. The role is played by Henry Kingy. Anna is one of the few who were lucky enough to stay alive after meeting with a predator. She speaks fluent Spanish and is able to notice details. She is ready to fight for her freedom to the end, even being held hostage. The role was performed by Elpidia Corilla. Sergeant Steve Gahan works for the Los Angeles Police Department and often travels to major gunfights. He is accustomed to following the given orders of his superiors but when his colleagues violate these instructions, he prefers to help rather than stand aside. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course, subscribe to the channel.